Hey again guys, I uh, thought I'd share with you another knife that is uh, pretty special to me. Uh, if you aren't following Bastion Knives, he's out of Australia, it's Ali Bastion. He makes some really unbelievable knives, they're, they're pretty out there, you have to kind of be into his style. Uh, I, I am, so I've owned, I've owned another one of his knives, I actually one of my friends talked me out of it in a gun trade, so I ended up with a um, a gun and trade for the knife. Uh, my friend ended up with a, a pretty cool knife. I wouldn't have done that unless I had just recently have purchased this one. So I had two bastions in my collection. I was willing to let one go to a to a good friend. I I probably wouldn't have to anyone else. Anyway, um, this knife I purchased. I'd been following it on uh, Bastion's Instagram page, which is Ali Bastion, and he finally completed it. I thought it was a custom order for a customer, and turned out that it was a flash sale. Uh, he put it up uh, with the time difference. I think <laughs> I think I picked it up at probably twelve or maybe midnight his time, so he was probably pretty surprised at. Uh, how fast I I jumped on it, but I jumped on it, picked it up, and I'm super super happy with how this one turned out. Um, it's a Bandicoot model, uh, 112th knife. The uh, blade is 1070 um, and 15 and 20 Damascus sand my blade. Uh, we'll get into that kind of stuff later. Uh, tie Damascus bolsters and pocket clip, carbon fiber scales. The coolest thing with that, with Bastion is that he's making, notice he calls it Tie Damascus, because he is actually manufacturing this himself. It's not Tie Damascus or Mocha Tai or anything bought from, you know, a, n a number of certain places. He's forging his own Tie Damascus. He's forging his own blades. He's making the material for his knives uh to me that's that is truly unbelievable uh with really no smart material or no smart machines to you know there's no cncs there's no he's doing this in with with pretty basic tools as far as knife making goes i mean he i think he has a manual mill uh but most is hand filed hand worked uh comes in a little pelican case it's card. Um, I had, it wasn't a double recurve, but I had a Hornet like that. Mine, mine was a compound ground, but it wasn't a double recurve. You can hop on my Instagram and see that one. It was a high, I think it was the first hybrid Hornet ever made. Uh, but let's get into this knife. What we're here to watch. Look at the colors. It almost looks uh, electrified. It, it looks alive. It's really beautiful. So again, he's he's making this material in house. He's hand filing that pivot. Uh, what most people really really like, he's hand filing this floating backspacer. It's actually, if I can, I'll show you before I get all fingerprints all over, and then I'll open it up. I and mean, look at that. He's not making this carbon fiber, but it's all hand fit. File work on the uh, flipper tab. As you can see, it almost looks like rope kind of rolling together, braided together. Uh, here you can see the Sanmai core. It's not going to be perfect because it's hand forged. Uh, it gives it some character. I like it. And there's the blade, which Ali hand forges in house. If you aren't following him, give him a follow. He makes some really unbelievable knives, and he does show a lot of work in progress. He shows him working 
on these knives and he him forging this material. It's amazing the amount of scrap that he gets while trying to manufacture this. He'll put up three billets and he's like, oh, they're junk. I didn't get a good weld on them. Um, he makes his own stakume, which is like a, a copper. Oh, shoot. I don't remember the components. But he does, he, he messes around with, with forging his own materials. These blue liners. It's heavy, but probably one of the most comfortable knives in my hand, you know, in the hand. It just fits amazing. I have, I, I believe this is a, a three and a half inch blade. I have medium to, to large hands. And it's just perfect. The action is really exceptional. It doesn't take any effort at all. Um, you can kind of hook your... It's hard to do, sitting down. Not meant to, but you can hook your finger in any of these holes and fiddle around and play with it. And... But isn't that blade just wicked? If you get them all, get all my fingerprints off again. Look at that. Very, very happy to have this in my collection. Uh, Ali is a, a very nice, very nice gentleman. Um, go give him a follow. If anything, it's just to look at what he's doing because it truly is amazing. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, very unique knife. Some of you may not like the design. I love it. It's almost futuristic, but I don't know. It's it's pretty different. I don't know. It's you instantly know it's a it's a Bastion knife. All of his have the same sort of look. Uh, he's one art knife maker of the year in Australia multiple times, and it shows. He makes some absolutely beautiful knives. Thank you for watching. Go follow me on Instagram if you if you'd like to see more of this. Um, you can scroll through and find a picture of this. It'll have a link to Ali Bastian's Instagram and give him a follow. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.